Tree Day! Welcome to the 10th annual wrap-in. We're going to begin with the Pledge of Allegiance, so if we could all stand, we have Manav and Eric to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So come on up here, boys. On three, one, two, three. Thank you. Those were the officers. If you can remain standing, the uh, officers of the middle school. Thank you very much for that. Now, Mr. Femia is going to lead us in a rousing rendition of the alma mater. Here we go. I want to hear you in back. See done. I'd like to welcome our special guests. If we could all be quiet while I welcome our special guests, I'd like to welcome the president of the Boys and Girls Club, Brent Selmeyer, and Karen Williams and Cindy Bartner here from the Boys and Girls Club. Let's give them a round of applause. I'd like to thank Bonnie Nesbitt, Ashley Ward, Lois Rust, Mark Femia, the facilities crew, and the parents and volunteers of the gift sorters. Let's give them a hand. As I mentioned, this is the 10th annual wrap-in, and so at the risk of redundancy for some of you who have been with me for 10 years, I'd like to give you a quick history of the Rappin and why we, where it got started and, and what we think about with the Rappin. So the Rappin started in New Jersey uh, with a very close friend of mine at the Pingree School and she was a 60s hippie. Have any of you high schoolers studied 60s hippies? So what they would do in the 60s is if they really believed in a cause and they wanted to peacefully demonstrate, they would have a sit-in. And so you'd have a sit-in, and what you were trying to do is to talk about something that you really believed in and wanted to be constructive in expressing that belief to the community. And so the, the, the term sit-in was a, a 60s term, and it, it was used to demonstrate that you really believe strongly in something. And so we decided at the Pingree School that we needed to talk about how important it is to serve others. And as we talked about at our Thanksgiving celebration just a couple of weeks ago, how fortunate we are to be in a position where we can give to others, right? Take, again, take a moment again to think about that. How important and how blessed we are that we're in a position to serve others. Okay, and so we as an institution today gather to count our blessings about how fortunate we are to serve others, but we also have to remind ourselves that it's our responsibility to serve others. And so today is such a joyous day, walking around, my favorite day of the year, walking around, seeing the younger children with the older children and how well behaved everybody is. It's just a magical day, but remember, it's a day to build habits. So may we always be as good as we are on the wrapping day, okay? And so how do we do this every day of the year? How do we learn to serve others and be better people that we are today? So that's the history of the wrapping. I think a very important event and a really fun event 
for Country Day. So thank you for contributing. We gathered about a thousand toys for others. I think that that's pretty amazing. So in the 10 years, we've gathered about 10,000 toys. I do the math there. Um, but more importantly is what we can do the remainder of the year. And then as you grow up, hopefully the habits of mind of serving others, if we think about the 10,000 gifts we've gathered here, think about what all of you can do in the world in terms of serving others uh, for the rest of your lives. So that's what the wrapping is all about. I'm very proud of it and very excited and just what a wonderful day to see all of you and the teachers. And um, so thank you all very much for the, the great, uh, the great moment we share together. And I'd like to turn it over to the upper school choir that's going to sing Beneath the Tree. Let's give the upper school choir a hand. Terrific, thank you. Now we're going to attempt to exit in an orderly fashion and sing Jingle Bells, which is going to be um, amazing. So, Mrs. Aquino, where would you like to start the exit? Let's give Mrs. Aquino a big round of applause. fourth grade can also. If um, third and fourth graders can dismiss and their partners just sit tight for just a second. 
And then those on the stairs who are going to upper school can dismiss towards the upper school middle schoolers. Sit tight for a second. All right, here we go. Do well. 